Aloha and mahalo for joining us on Island Life Live. We've got What's the Scoops with Mahina La Ao Kama'aina, or Native Hawaiian Plant Month, coming up. But first, a look at what our Island News team is working on for us today. We've got clear skies right now, but wild weather hit the islands this weekend. We'll tell you how it impacted businesses in East Oahu. Plus, Kamehameha Schools, Kapalama, forced to close its campus today. I'll tell you why in just a few minutes. But first, What's the Scoops? Aloha, I'm David D. This is Lena Girl right here. Mele Apana over there. And Mele is the one who made our decorations for the uh, set for today. Her lay, uh, poor Melia. Aren't you proud of me? Aren't our, you proud of me, brother? And our lay orchid over here. Yes, very I feel proud. like I'm going to enter Mary Marta with my, my <laughs> poor Melia. <laughs> very cute. All right. <laughs> today is also tax deadline day. And, you know, a lot of people dread this month because of it. But here's something to celebrate this month. It's Mahina La'au Kama'aina, or Native Hawaiian Plant Month. And there's only a handful of nurseries that specialize in Native Hawaiian plants. And the best of the best is Huiku Moliola in Heia O'ahu. Mm -hmm. And Brother had a chance to interview its co-owner, Rick Barboza. Watch this. How are you, brother Rick? Good, bro. Thanks Big for having fan, me. Big fan, bro. I've ah. heard so much about you over the years. Actually, a customer of Huiku Maoliola. So, um, for, for our audience members who are not familiar with uh, your guys' uh, nursery, mm -hmm. tell us about it uh, real quick. Uh, well, Huiku Maoliola is your kind of one-stop shop for anything Native Hawaiian plant-wise. Our nursery is located in Heia. Uh, we specialize primarily in indigenous and endemic plants, but then we also have basically all of the canoe plants or the Polynesian introduced plants like Kalo, Ulu, Uala. But uh, in addition to our nursery, we are also licensed landscapers. So, you know, it really helps to be able to grow the plants, but at the same time be able to install the plants. So we do habitat restorations, commercial landscaping. Wow. Everything. So when you say one-stop shop, you one -stop. Really mean it right there. Yep. I've been to your guys' place, and it's like being in on candy store for, for you know, people who love plants, even people who, you know, not really have that green thumb. It's amazing to look at the plants that you have. And we have a couple here we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah. But what are the, first of all, what are the benefits of growing native, native plants at home? Well, there's, there's multiple layers to that. And for me, it's, you know, having that pilina to your place, your aina, um, and then also enhancing whatever that area is, because uh, there's been so much destruction with, with our native ecosystems that utilizing people's homes, uh, you know, whatever size footprint they may be, as an opportunity to replant native plants for the benefit of our native birds, our native insects, and perpetuating our, our Hawaiian culture. I love that. Uh, and these plants, I mean, because they've been here for so long, for centuries, they are specifically made for our environment, right? Yes, and we have uh, several different varieties of plants that are specific to certain locales, you know? Wow. So whether you're out in Eva, whether you're out in Waianae, Waimanalo, wherever. So, wow, so yeah. let's talk about these. What are these plants in front of us? So these are two different varieties of Ohi Alehua. Uh, this one right here actually came from Heia um, that was growing up above our property. And it's, it's a kind of a combination of two different species. Uh, one is more commonly known as Lehua Ahihi. There's a, a, a song by yeah, Hui oh yeah, Pua, Pua Ahihi. Ahihi. I love that yeah. song. So this is the oh. Ahihi Lehua. Uh, but it looks like a, a dwarf variety, which to me, it kind of hybridized with another variety of Ohia Lehua uh, called Metrociterus polymorpha imbricata. Okay. Uh, so we got all these names, right? That's what we call them lehua. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah, call yeah. them lehua. <laughs> and then this variety came from Maui, from a friend of mine that has a nursery on Maui that um, I just fell in love with the color of this one. So we've been trying to propagate this one as well. I love so. it. All right. Well, hui kumoliola in heia. Uh, Rick, can you join us for the whole week? Yeah, sure. It's Native Hawaiian Plant Month, and Brother Rick Barboza will be joining us. Uh, I can't wait to see tomorrow's plant. Right on, mahalo for having me. It was, it was such a, a good time with Brother Rick, and you know, he's, the guy is super, super smart. You guys know him, Kamehameha School graduate, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just an honor to have him. I've been shopping at his uh, nursery over there in Heia for a long, long Years. time. Yeah. Years, yeah. Years. I, grew, mm -hmm. I get mamaki, I get the kokio yeah. keo keo, just all kinds of different plants from there. So it was an honor to uh, not only just 
spend some time with him, but also to learn some stuff. Um, and to celebrate this month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think and I think everybody should have a native Hawaiian plant at their house. A few. A few, yeah. And we're going to actually be um, showcasing different plants uh, on each different day. I cannot wait to show you guys the one that actually ha has gone extinct. It is the, the last one died on Kauai about six years ago. Mm. And because of his efforts, um, of uh, Rick's efforts over at Huiku Maliola, they were able to um, save some makua. Wow. And they are propagating that, and they have a whole bunch of keiki. So you'll learn about that coming up in a, a few days. Also coming up, we're going to be featuring the Hawaiian primrose, oh. which is so beautiful. It is uh, The Hawaiian uh, name for it is Kolo Kolo. Kuahivi. Wow, so brother. Kolo Kolo means to crawl. So it, it, it kind of branches out like that. Beautiful. You see that uh, on, tomorrow's, oh. uh, on tomorrow's show. But if you want to beautify your hale with native Hawaiian plants, you can also visit Hui Ku Maoliola in Hei, of course, right up the road from Hale Iva Joe's on Haiku Road. Yeah, and if you want to stay closer to town, check them out at Uluvehi, the varsity building in Mo'ili'ili, this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or you can grab La'al Kama'aina at Bishop Museum this coming Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m at the Science and Sustainability Festival. Also, wow. coming up on Saturday, you can check them out at uh, the Foster Botanical Gardens from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And, you know, they are also uh, sell their, their plants uh, over at the um, Home Depot. They get them at City Mill. So you can, you know, basically get a native Hawaiian plant pretty much everywhere you, you turn, especially on Saturday. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. And this allows you to truly celebrate this mm -hmm. month. Yeah. Yes, right on, Get sister. it, and Love be it. proud. All right. All right, one of our sisters, another sister of ours on set right now at the Island News Desk, you're actually rocking the Vili Vili uh, pin right there. That is awesome, <laughs> celebrating our La'o Kamaina. Le'uhi, what's uh, some of those uh, uh, stories you're working on for us today? We got a whole lot going on today, you guys. The weather, for one, that was wild over the weekend. But I'll tell you what, it's back to business today after the stormy weather brought down the power lines. It knocked out electricity for most people in Hawaii Kai yesterday as well. Now, according to Hawaiian Electric, a power transmission line fell over, taking out a second transmission line in the Ko'olau Mountains. Stores and restaurants, they opened up again today after they were forced to close down due to the lack of power. Then you had four schools that closed today too. That was Kaiser High School, Camilo Iki Elementary, Hahayone Elementary, and Cocohead Elementary. Now all are going to reopen tomorrow. We'll head over to Hawaii Island because Hawaiian Electric customers may experience rolling outages across the island tonight. It's because of a generation shortfall and lower than normal wind and solar resources. So officials may initiate the brief outages later this evening. Customers, though, should continue conserving electricity this month. And we want to talk about this one. Police have opened a terroristic threatening case after a threat of violence at Kamehameha School's Kapa'alama began circulating all over social media. Now, Island News received the picture of graffiti with some of the words that were scratched out. This is the notice, by the way. Now, Kamehameha School's canceled classes. They sent this letter to parents earlier this morning say that, saying that the vandalism was not a credible source, but that it's looking into the threat. So coming up at 5, our Kristen Concilio speaks to to parents who are still concerned about that threat of violence. And I, I think that even for myself, uh, I got that notice early this morning, so uh, very concerned as well. Absolutely, and we can't wait to hear uh, more with Kristen coming up at 5. Mahalo Le, we'll see you in about 30 minutes from now. We're going to take a live look over Honolulu Island where their chief meteorologist Pete Kajano is back in the house with our first forecast. Hey, Pete. Hey, yeah, we're uh, quieting down after those weather alert days this weekend. We had, of course, flooding. We, you mentioned those power outages, thunderstorms, and good news is things are quieting down. We still have some rain on the eastern end of the state and still some wind advisories, but that's mainly, and wind warnings, that's mainly for the summits of the Big Island, also into Maui. Let's go ahead and take a look right now at what we do have. Our front still making its way through the state, and now it is pushing into the Big Island, but it has weakened quite a bit from how strong it was earlier this weekend. Behind that front, we still have generally westerly winds, and we'll go ahead and take a, a live look right now at the radar. Green indicates rain, and we don't have a whole lot of rain. A few areas of showers for North Kohala. We do have that high wind warning for the summits of the Big Island. Gusts 90 miles per hour possible, and then for Maui, the summit there, 
uh, looking at gusts potentially up to 55 miles per hour. So we'll have long, stronger winds aloft. Behind the front, it is quieted down quite a bit across Oahu and Kauai. Not much rain expected. Winds still light and variable as we head into Tuesday. Should be a nice day. We're going to generally see sunny weather. Rest of tonight, though, relatively dry for the western of the state. A couple of showers for uh, the Big Island possible. Temperatures falling into the lower 70s, 71 by 10 p.m. We've got much more on your extended forecast. Let you know if any new rain systems are on the way right now. We'll toss it back to Melly, Lena, and, and Davey. Hey, Mahalo, Pete. Now, let's talk about fraud. We hear about it all the time on the news. And next week, AARP is inviting an expert to the islands to teach all of us how to protect ourselves from scammers. And we'll have more details on that in just a bit. But first, a quick question. Which age group is more likely to fall victim to internet fraud? Well, many think it's our kupuna, but statistics show that people in their 30s and 40s reported more fraud than people who are older. Criminals tend to target the elderly because when they fall victim, they lose more money. According to the FBI, one of the most common schemes they fall for is the tech support scam. Mm -hmm. So how do you spot this scam? You could get a phone call, text message, email, or warning pop-ups with someone saying you need to get your device fixed. They then ask for a remote access to your computer and that is a big red flag. Mm -hmm. They'll claim to fix the problem and charge you hundreds of dollars, pressuring you to pay immediately or pay with a gift card. If you receive a message like this, hang up immediately or turn off your device and get it checked by a legitimate company. You can also call AARP's fraud helpline. That's 877 908 3360. The numbers are also up on your screen. Or you can visit the website aarp.org slash fraudwatch. And uh, we're going to share more on how you can protect yourself from criminals throughout the week, courtesy of AARP Hawaii. And we're actually going to talk to the expert himself. Yeah, Paul Greenwood is a former prosecutor and national fraud expert. He will be coming to Hawaii next week to host several Fight Fraud Together seminars from April 22nd through April 26th. You can register online at aarp.org slash local or it's uh, also on AARP Hawaii's Facebook page, so be sure to sign up. And actually, he's going to be joining us on Wednesday to give us a sneak peek into the seminars. I can't wait to... Uh, awesome. Actually, I want to sign up for that. It's going to be super awesome. Yeah. So we'll get you uh, more information on that coming up. But today is National Laundry Day. Okay. Now, let's get into our Yusu Akamai question. It has to do with laundry. Okay. The first in-home washer was invented by William Blackstone. Mm -hmm. It was built as a gift for his wife, a deterrent to the Black Plague. Ew means to combat bed bugs, Ew. a new product at the 1910 World's Fair. Let that kind of marinate. We'll mm. get you the answer in about 20 minutes. And just a reminder, coming up, your chance to win tickets to Melly's Mother's Day Woo! Spectacular. Hopefully, you were watching Good Morning Hawaii at 6.45 a.m. with Leah Kamana, and she gave you the artist of the day. I'm going to ask you, who is that artist of the day coming up at 4.45? So stay tuned, okay? We'll be right back. All right. Brand new is brand new. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do Frank. Say again? Frankie. Thank you. Can you hear me, Vicky? Yeah. Why, you guys going to serenade me? How nice. Why, after? Oh, yeah. Vicky, can you?
Okay, welcome back to Ani Life Live. With us again today is Hawaii's dealer for the people and automotive expert, Jerry B. How you doing? I, like, I'm, I'm adoring this shirt. Can, can oh, next time you come, you. can you get me one? Because I want to be a part of Winter Auto. I, think I can, yeah. <laughs> part of our team. I know. I want to be, well, you're part of our team. Yeah. And we're part of your team, too. Yeah. So welcome back to our Hali. You know, brother, we talked about uh, finance last week, yeah? So what is going on uh, with the pre-owned cars nowadays in the market? Well, right now, the pre-owned market is really tight, we call it. It's limited inventory, limited selections uh, to, for us to purchase. You know, through COVID, in the, <clears throat> the few years of COVID, really gave an issue to the supply chain, right? All mm -hmm. the way down from parts to everything. So the new car sales volume went down. And now in the cycle, we have pre-owned cars that would be in the market that aren't there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so so what is it like buying a pre-owned car at the auctions? So at the auction, again, it's tight, right? So the the it, it's it's a competitive market. So at the auction, it's very competitive to get the vehicles, but there are the vehicles out there, right? I don't personally buy many cars through the auction. I have other sources where I get them from. Okay, and what is the difference between buying a new car versus buying a pre-owned car? Well, a new car is a new car, right? A pre-owned car is a pre-owned car. The biggest difference is the warranty. A new car it comes with the warranty starts from day one when mm -hmm. you drive it off the lot. A pre-owned car, the warranty would be from the original date of purchase. So the warranty could be less or there could be none. It just depends on the vehicle you purchase. So I can get a pre I can get a pre-owned car warranty on that. Oh, 100 percent. So if you buy from us, uh, there's warranties available. And our pre-owned selection is actually very large. We have mm -hmm. one of the largest pre-owned selections on the windward side. We do have the largest and one of the largest in the state uh, with with all our dealers put together. Yeah, you guys do, because yeah. right? we all live in Kaneohe, so we pass yeah. by your car lot all the time. And oh my gosh, yeah. it's like eye candy every time yeah. we pass by. So, uh, you know, uh, tell us about the specials that you're having for your buyers now. Well, I still got the uh, you pay what I paid. No right? way, it's still, still yet? going. Wow. Yeah, we're almost done with it, and uh, we still got some Jeeps left. And actually, on the pre-owned side, we have a, a lot of vehicles, a uh, large selection right now. I just went out, and our buyer just brought us in a whole batch. We got about uh, 27 cars that arrived today. Okay. So yeah, they're wow. going through a reconditioning process. All our pre-owned vehicles are reconditioned, 133 point inspection done on them. So they actually do come with the actual bill of rights where you get your safe tires for life. And I know, and I know last week yes. we were talking about like some of the financing uh, stuff that you guys have. Can you like reiterate what we talked about financing? Well, again, we are a full service dealership, so we provide financing, but like we talked about last week, everybody has an opportunity, right? right? Remember mm -hmm. I talked about yep. the four legs of, of a car loan? And uh, as long as you got three of those legs, we usually can get you in a nice and newer car. I love it. So you guys, everybody can qualify. Again, yes. you can pick between a new car or a pre-owned car. And Jerry, I know you're all over Oahu. How can people find more information on all of your car lots? Well, all you gotta do is go to jerryforthepeople.com. That's jerryforthepeople.com. And uh, all our information will come up. All our uh, pre-owned vehicles are right there ready for you to look at. We enjoy you so much. Um, and I know everybody knows your voice of Hawaii and you're always with us. And uh, yes. just sure, making sure everybody has a nice and safe vehicle. So yep. thank you so much and you come back again, okay? You got it. Jerry D it. for the people. And I'm trying to be nice to him because I want a lifted Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like 33 tires, k Yeah, the rock crushers, like I said. 20 by 14. Thank yeah. you, Jerry, for the people. <laughs> anyway, right now, let's go check in with our beautiful Daniel Tucker. Hi, Danielle. Hi, and I'm, I'm telling you, um, this traffic is very interesting because all lanes of Kalakaua are closed going into Waikiki. So the folks who are on Kalakaua and Kapiolani heading into Waikiki here that you can see on this screen, they're going to get turned away from Waikiki because of the 12-inch water main break that's still being repaired. As of 3 o'clock, they shut down all the lanes. They can't have the lanes open and get it done quickly. Coming out of Waikiki, that's a different story. It's also slow, but they have one lane open, which was closed earlier. This is Alawai between Makali and over to Kalakaua. You can go out of Kala uh, Waikiki using Kalakaua. How do you get into Waikiki? Uh, some options include 
include coming down Kapahulu or coming down Macaulay. Those options are still available to you. And at this point, I would rather go around Diamond Head than uh, try to any other option. It'd be a beautiful drive to get out of Waikiki, that route. Heading to the windward side, to east of Oahu, out to the leeward coast. I don't have any reports of accidents. In fact, Moldova Freeway slows down just about the top of Red Hill. From the city and county of Honolulu's Traffic Management Center, I'm Danielle Tucker. Now back to Lena Girl, Mele Apana, and David D. Mahalo, Danielle Tucker. Again, today is National Laundry Day. So yes. I, you saw my question it has to do with that. The first in-home washer was invented by William Blackstone mm -hmm. as a gift for his wife. Mm -hmm. Deterrent to the Black Plague, mm -hmm. means to combat bed bugs, Ew. or a new product at the 1910 World's Fair. We will get you the answer coming up in 10 minutes. That's what happens when we try to boogie, oh, boogie wow. to the no, opener, yeah? She yes. always makes me get all annoyed myself. Maybe we time. should have ask her to do a slow opener. <laughs> Tina, please make a slow opener for yes. us. Oh. <laughs> we breathless. I, <laughs> but I'm mostly breathless because of Jason Momoa. Oh, Big congratulations yes. to Jason Hello. and his crew yes. in Aotearoa, New Zealand. They just wrapped up filming on the Minecraft movie. And as part of the celebrations, he bought merch for his entire crew from his line, So Ill, in collaboration with Slow Tide with Jay. 100% of the monies are going to help families in Maui who are still recovering following the wildfires. I'm just so grateful that he hasn't forgotten because a lot of people, they move on with their lives, yep. but yep. things are still not Pono mm -hmm. in Maui. In mm -hmm. fact, his Aloha J line on the official Dahui website is also 100% donated to Maui. So wow. the giving continues for this brother. That guy, he... He's uh, a man of his word. Yep. He is, absolutely. You know, never forgot that uh, you know his roots are here in Hawaii, so mm -hmm. right on, Jason. Yeah, we love him. That's why we that. BFFs, me and him, we boys, yeah? Yeah, and that's, really? my, and that's my husband. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're both lying. We are both liars. Yes, no, yes. That's Not my husband. He just <laughs> yeah. No, he's, that's my husband. He just doesn't know it yet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we know. And, you know, while we're making Mother's Day spectacular with our sister Mele yes. upon his 15th annual event ticket giveaway, others are also 
celebrating mom in their own unique way. Starbucks oh. just dropped a few new, you're a Starbucks cupper, right? Yes, yep. I collect them all. Okay, well a few new cups just got added to the collection just in time for Mama's Day. What? The big mama is the sky blue Stanley <gasps> Quencher. 40 ounces of your favorite drink to battle hydration and bust that kidney, babes. <laughs> it also sets you back about 50 bucks. And there are four more new cups, the purple prism, the yellow prism, the exotic flowers, cold cup, and the mug. Ooh. Ooh. 50 ounces, please. Well, Melon. You, know, you know that baby blue is my favorite color, yeah? Yeah, exactly. but please That's do not fill jams. that up with coffee. We do not need you <laughs> on yes. 50 ounces of no, coffee, but, sister. But, but I come to work in my blue Yeti, right? That's and what I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I get my hands on that, I'm going to switch them up for water. You sing. The whole, like, from 9 a.m. all the way till we start no, the show. And no, it's no. Like, They're plenty. Yes. And we're, we're, we're tired. We never even say hello to you folks, and we're tired already. And, uh, <laughs> I'm getting that Stanley. <laughs> and oh finally, boy. where were you when Max Holloway won the BMF this past weekend? Because Hawaii's blessed MMA fighter dropped his opponent, Justin Gage. <laughs> with a last second knockout at UFC 300 in Las Vegas and Hawaii went oh, yeah. wild. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. All these celebration videos kept popping up all over social media. So a big mahalo to the 808 viral crew for putting him all together in three fun oh, and yeah. crazy reels. <laughs> Woo Called for moments of silence for folding chairs, aunties' couches, and tree branches. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of these things just got destroyed just because, look at, look at us. Look at how we celebrate. This is Hawaii, you guys. Well, Paevalani, where we live uh, in Kaneohe, was like fireworks, fireworks. galore over there. Isn't there like a convent there? there yeah, <laughs> right behind us, but you know. And it's not the nuns that okay, are, are okay, setting up the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Kanaks on Paevalani, but yeah, you know, yes. I like um, the, the fight. I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, his opponent did that backflip. And yeah. then, um, you know, Holloway invited him to the middle of the ring. Yeah, so come on, let's do it. Let's yeah, stay right here. boom, and knock him out. That yes. was so amazing. Sup, sup, hang, it was hang. crazy. <laughs> Super Akamai, right yeah. on 